If I ask for help, people will realize I don't know what I'm doing. Ooh, this one hit me hard, y'all, because I'm a I'm a soloist. Um, uh, and basically, a soloist is a type of imposter syndrome. If y'all want to learn more, more about that, look at one of the videos I will do or let me know in the comments. But I'm a soloist, so I don't like to ask for help for this exact thought, right? I feel like if I ask for help, somebody's going to say, well, this, this boy don't know what he's doing, right? Even though I'm supposed to be the most experienced in the room or I'm supposed to be the smartest in the room, whatever. You know what I'm saying? People, you're going to have that perception of you're not, you know, you're, you're not qualified because you're asking for help. Even though that's not true, right? Everybody is going to need help at some point in time. You're going to have to ask. It's okay to ask. But let's talk about how we could reframe that, right? Smart people know when to seek expertise from others, right? So if, if you say, if I ask for help, people will realize I don't know what I'm doing. Let me just say, hmm, I don't know what I'm doing, but let me ask from ask somebody to make sure, right? It's just, once again, once again, how we reframe it, how we reframe it. So think about the most accomplished people you know or admire. Just think about it. Take a sec. They all have teams, right? They have a mentor or they have advisors, right? You could think about um, going back to the old days with the kings. They had an advisory over them, right? Uh, the council them. When you think about the presidents, uh, 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 they always have a council surrounding them. They have advisors, right? So asking for help isn't a sign of weakness. It's a sign of intelligence and self-awareness, right? 